Let me go, but you're... You're hurting me, I haven't even started yet, Teresa. There's no way in hell I'm ever going to let you near Ethan again, you hear me? Look at you, you're jeopardizing your pregnancy. You, you, you can put yourself at risk if you put your baby at risk. The only thing putting me at risk Ow. is you, you bitch! Uh-uh. Stay down. Let me go. Oh, no, no, no. I'm enjoying this. Teresa, do you remember when you were getting ready to give birth and you attacked me with a pair of scissors? Do you remember that? I was sick hmm? when I had that prenatal condition. A condition? Oh, well, you know, I have a condition, too. And it's called hating your gut so much, I just might lose control and stomp you to death. I know that you're angry with me, okay? I don't blame you for being upset, but um, you, you, you cannot risk the health of your baby. You cannot risk you your stop health. Stop acting so concerned about my baby because you could not care less about me and my baby. Unless, of course, you're shrewd enough to realize that if something does happen to me and my pregnancy, Ethan's gonna blame you and you are never gonna have a chance with him again. No, 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 that's not what I mean. Just I'm... deal with it, okay? You are the kind of person you don't care about anyone but yourself. You don't even care about Ethan, Teresa, because if you did, if you did, you would have not come out to L.A. and put me and his child at risk. Look, Gwen, I told you I didn't know that you and Ethan were out here, okay? Uh, I came here to visit Chad and Whitney to give you guys time alone. Oh, to give you some space. okay, okay. What, so it's all just some big, huge coincidence? Is that it? Like it wasn't when you were stalking Ethan those first few no, months? You insinuated your I way into young. his life? I was immature then, Gwen. Immature what? And like you're all grown up now? Because God help us if that's what you think. I can just imagine the lengths that you went to to follow us out here. What did you spy on us in harmony? Did you tap our phones? What? No, what? when? No, that you got it all wrong. No, you are the one who's got it all wrong, sister. When are you gonna get it through that thick head of yours that Ethan chose me over you? Ethan loved me, not you. Ow! When? When? Oh, when? when? Don't you touch me! I've got to get help. You are out of your mind. If you think I'm going to let you run to Ethan and play heroin with me and my baby, we're going to be fine. The baby's going to be just fine. Gwen, you are in pain. Let me get your help. If you really want to help me, you will just get your lying butt out of L.A. You will go back to Harmony and you will think about what your slutty, sneaky ways could have cost me, Ethan, and our little baby. And you will think long and hard about what you've done. And maybe once, once in your life, you'll make the right decision and you will leave us alone. But I doubt that because you don't have a decent cell in your body. That's it! God, I'm tired of taking all your insults, okay? Jeez, you blame everything that goes wrong in your life, in your marriage, on me. You know what? Did it ever occur to you there might be things going on you know nothing about? What? Like what? The truth. When? Yeah. The whole truth, and nothing but. You wouldn't know the first thing about the truth, Teresa. Oh, really? Be careful what you ask for, Gwen. The truth is, I am not the cause of all your insecurity, all your stress, all your fear, the things that are putting your pregnancy at risk. You're gonna tell me that this is my fault? Well, if the shoe fits, yeah. Where the hell do you get your nerve? Why ask a question? when you know the answer. See, Gwen, somewhere deep down inside, you know as well as I do, if Ethan could, he would be with me instead of you. That's why you're always so stressed out. That's why you don't have faith in your marriage and in your husband, because you know damn well if you hadn't gone pregnant when you did, I would be Ethan's wife. That is a lie. lie. Oh, is it? Is it really a lie? Well, if you were so secure in Ethan's love, you wouldn't give a damn where I was, whether I was in Harmony or Los Angeles, because you would be, what, blasé? You would be stress-free in spite of it? What gets to you, Gwen, is knowing deep down inside your husband is in love with another woman. Your husband is in love with me. Oh, no, Aunt Teresa. Oh, God. Baby, 